Joining us now to talk about the mayoral race is CBS2 political analyst Esther Cepeda. Esther, did you, were you surprised at how strongly Jesus Garcia ran tonight? Shocked. Talk about historic. We're talking about a Mexican-born guy. His name is Jesus. He's got a handlebar mustache, and he goes by a name that references a Wookiee from Star Wars. How much more excited, yeah, exciting does it get than that? I mean, this is amazing. You know, what role do you feel voter turnout played in the election today? Well, there's a low voter turnout, but there's no question that this city is very much divided about who they wanted for mayor, and that came out in these results that were sort of all over the place, but showed that, you know, we need another seven weeks to decide. So we're talking about coming in about 10 or 11 percentage points behind Mayor Emanuel tonight. It's a bona fide race till April 7th. What does he need to do in terms of coalition building before then to have a chance to win on April 7th? Sure. Both these candidates need to make it very clear why they are the mayor of Chicago, the best one for everyone, not just for the coalitions that got them this far and the money that got them this far. And you know, we heard a lot coming up to today's election about what Trey Garcia wanted to do if he was elected. We heard about a thousand police officers on the street. Do you think now that he's going to have to present a plan for how he's actually going to take make this action happen if he is elected mayor? Yeah, there's going to be pressure on him to come up with some some policy proposals that have some meat on that bone, and it's going to be a double-edged sword. So we're going to have to be very careful about how we interpret anything that comes up. Um, where's the money coming from? That's the big question from, from everybody. All right. Thank you so much.